I like my fancy suit. This is my whale watching stuff because I'm going whale watching today. I descended a ramp on the St. Andrews Wharf, a sea town on the south coast of New Brunswick, Canada. Although I typically avoid group tours when it comes to travel, this was a very special occasion as I was traveling with a beautiful young lady. And I'm taking this tour with my daughter, Tater Tot. Hi. <laughs> we were part of a 12 person group in a Zodiac, an inflatable boat perfectly suited for whale watching. And it was surprisingly stable. But as soon as we cornered the Pendlebury Lighthouse, the captain hit the throttle. It's really windy. Even Tater Tot had to bundle up. Headed out to the Bay of Fundy, the Grand Manan Ferry passed by, as did some harbor porpoises. I brought two cameras on this trip, a brand new action camera for the wide angle shots, But for the more distant ocean wildlife, I would switch to my old Sony camcorder. After about a half hour of full speed ahead, the Zodiac came to a halt amongst a small group of islands. These are a few razor bills here, I believe, on the right hand side. Got a couple of chicks with them there. Now that whale should be due back to the surface here fairly soon. I must say, this was the quietest, most courteous group of tourists I'd ever seen. A pin drop could have been heard as they stared out into the ocean. Whale watching is all about patience and a good set of eyes. This is a finback, which can grow up to 85 feet long and is the second largest whale species in the world. At times it looked more like a dragon than a whale. When he was, had his dorsal fin up, you could see what's called the caudal peduncle. It's a little piece of meat that attaches on behind the dorsal fin. While we were watching the fin back, the captain received a tip that another type of whale was only a few miles away, so we set off in hot pursuit. Another boat was searching as well.
There it is. It was a humpback. Humpback whales are famous for lifting their tails right out of the water when they dive. But as the Zodiac had to return to port, we only had a few minutes left before the tour was over. Would he surface one more time? There's one last spout in the distance as we headed back to port. Perhaps not my best wildlife footage, but I tried. In preparation for docking, hair padding was recommended. Well, it was cool seeing those whales. Yeah. It was a perfect day for it. So beautiful. But I always find when I'm in a, even a zodiac, it's just not the same immersive experience as something a little bit smaller. Like a kayak? That's what I was thinking. What? Now, where can we get a kayak? You know what? I think I might have some on the roof of my Jeep. Oh my gosh, how convenient. Awesome. Let's go kayaking. Let's go. <laughs> well, there's a place down here called Minister's Island. And uh, it's kind of a neat place to go, but you can only go during low tide because the tide actually covers the road. Wow. But, but now that we're getting close to high tide, it's a great place to kayak, and I don't have to pay admission to Sea Minister's Island. Hopefully not. The road abruptly stops in a sea of blue. Pretty good. Have you kayaked before? I think so, a long time ago. I'm just a natural at least. <laughs> I guess so. It's that west coast in you. Whoops, sorry. Oops. Well, where I come from, there's no ocean. Perfect day. Just after we head out from shore, our eyes are drawn to a little island of seagulls. Oh no, I'm getting closer. I'm already so close. They're scared. <laughs> there you go. You're getting the knack of it. Bonk. 
Oh, there's a bald eagle way over there. Okay. Where's, my, where's my other camera? That's a bald eagle. Yeah, I like that shore up ahead. Right here. I'm gonna go up there. still coming in. The air is very fresh. It is. Very clean. I like it out here. So being from the west, do you think you could live in the east? No. <laughs> yeah. Straight up no. You're a you're a big city girl. Yeah. I enjoy the city. I enjoy the variety of places to eat and yep. shop. You don't get that here. True. You can buy dulls here. I haven't had that. What's dulls? Seaweed. Oh. So you, you, you can eat that, but I don't oh, think it no. tastes very good. <laughs> Tater Tot was born and bred a big city girl, and the East Coast lifestyle is not for everyone. Although she'd probably enjoy Toronto or Montreal, rural New Brunswick is a little laid back for some. Almost back to the shore. Which is the exact same reason I enjoy it so much. If the picture looks any different, it's because I've been playing with a GoPro. My first one. I've been using the less expensive clones before, but this is the real thing. See how well it performs. Now to be fair, St. Andrews did have a grocery store, but I was looking for a real farmer's market. And I think I found one. Oh look! Dulls! Only $2.99. Yeah, I think we can uh, 
roast some corn on the campfire. The corn went right into the fire, wrapped in tin foil along with the husk. Apparently the best way to eat dulse is to fry it in oil until it goes brown. I love fried food. And it's supposed to taste like bacon. Mm, I'll be the judge of that. You can judge, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Raw dulse is leathery and dark, but transforms over a fire in just a few minutes. I think it's crispy enough. It turned from purple to green. Okay, well, green's good. Green is healthy. Green is the new brown. Whoops. Ooh, that's hot. Here, you take that. Woo! <laughs> How does it taste? It is kind of like chips. And you don't even have to add salt. Yeah, it's <laughs> sea salt. Yummy. Mm. Good. Tater tot approved. Tater tot approved. Can't get any better than that. Uh-oh. Sounds like popcorn. <laughs> I think I've turned the corn into popcorn. I gotta get it out of there. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Careful. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Don't leave it in too long. Oh, it looks very roasted. It's definitely roasted corn. Oh, oh still, nice. Still soft though. Roasted corn. Well, the corn's ready to eat. I think we're going to call it a night. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out my others as well. We're going to have some corn. I'm so happy my daughter got to spend some time with her old dad. Even just mm. to enjoy a little burnt corn. Smoky. Could use some butter. Beside a glowing campfire. And I'm glad I got to share it with you. Happy travels. <laughs>